Hey Falcons, um, what I'm going to be talking to you today about is the concept of a mole. A mole is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles. That particle could be literally anything you want to count. In chemistry, most frequently, that's going to be an atom or a molecule of something. And what I have out in front of you is a mole of various samples of matter. Over here, this group is a mole of samples of atoms. So for example, here, I have a mole of iron. If I was to take this out and put it on a balance, it would weigh 55.8 grams. Now, what that means is that inside here, there are 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of iron. Here I have a non-metal sulfur, 32 grams. You can see that they have different properties. One is obviously a metal. This is a non-metal. Um, it's a yellow powder. This is a mole of aluminum. Now, a common misconception is, as, as students look at the, the little granules in here, that they think that the number of granules in here is a mole. That's not nearly correct. This, is, this would have you know, several thousand granules, but a mole, again, is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. It is this number of zeros. It is a tremendously large number. So this would be one mole of aluminum. Here would be another metal, a mole of zinc. Okay, again, 65.4 grams. And then this one is another nonmetal carbon, which has a mass of 12 grams. You can also see that there's a wide variety in the mass of one mole of, an, of atoms of a particular element. Why is that? Well, atoms are different sizes. They can vary in the amount of mass that one particular atom takes up. So 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd of them can vary in how much mass that actually is. Um, Another common misconception that students will have is that a mole of anything would weigh the same. And that's not accurate. As you can see here, a mole of zinc is a much larger amount, 65 grams, compared to a mole of carbon, which is only 12 grams. And that's because carbon is a much smaller atom. The, the comparison that I would give you is if you were to think of a dozen tennis balls and a dozen bowling balls. You would have the same number of both of those things, but obviously a dozen bowling balls would have much more mass, would take up much more space. And that's the same as a mole of carbon, which has a mass of 12 grams, and a mole of sulfur, which has a mass of 32. Sulfur is a much bigger atom. This would be like, in comparison, the tennis ball and the bowling ball. One of them is much larger than the other, so the same number of them, one of them has a much larger mass. Over here, what I have is a mole of different compounds. Here I have a mole of water molecules. That means that I have 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of water, which would also mean that I have 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of oxygen bonded to 2 times 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of hydrogen, each in individual units of 2 H's to 1 O, but this would be a mole of molecules of water would have a mass of 18 grams, okay? The mass of water, of oxygen is 16 grams. The mass of hydrogen is one gram. So one gram of, of hydrogen times two plus 16 grams of oxygen would add, add up to a total of 18 grams. Here I have a mole of sodium chloride or table salt, all right? Again, and I would get the mass of this. It's the mass of sodium, a mole of sodium atoms plus the mass of a mole of chlorine atoms or chloride ions. Here I have sodium bicarbonate, again, a mole of a compound. These, um, these two are both ionic compounds. Um, so um, they're a metal and a non-metal or a cation and anion. But again, this is a mole of those particular types of particles. And then the last one here, this one that is, is also a mole. So you can see there's a wide variety in the mass of one mole of something. This is a mole of sugar. Okay, sugar has a very large formula, C12H22O11. Okay, so this sucrose has a lot of atoms in one unit of it. So then when we have 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd units of sugar, it's going to be quite a lot, large amount of mass, in this case, 342 grams. So this, again, is an example of that mole concept. 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd particles of whatever it is we're choosing to count, be it atoms or molecules. Thanks, Falcons.